Microsoft has released a groundbreaking new service on Azure AI, which is Azure OpenAI service on your data. So now you can use your own data APIs like Azure OpenAI API and ask questions from your own data, which is completely within Azure ecosystem. Also, if you have got local data, you can upload it and ask. This is going to be mind blowingly famous and popular primarily because people have been waiting for this kind of feature for a very long time. And one of the problems that people face with uh, tools like ChatGPT when you use is one, the data is frozen till 2021, I think September. The second one is it hallucinates a lot. Even if you have the right answer, it's very hard to teach ChatGPT to give you the right answer all the time unless until you do some very intelligent prompt engineering. And three, not every data is already present inside ChatGPT. For example, your organization might have your own KBs, knowledge based articles, which cannot be fed into the ChatGPT world until you use some vector database and then try to query based on that. So this has been like a big problem and based on the three points that I just highlighted, a lot of organizations and enterprises have been resisting using this solution primarily because of these reasons. And now everybody is going to love Azure open AI service on your own data, which is going to allow you to use models like chat GPT and GPT four with your own data. And in this video, we are not going to get into the Azure interface, but it's just like a very simple news readout where I'm going to help you understand what this feature is and how can you take advantage of it. Azure open AI service is going to connect to different kinds of data sources. The data source could be of three types. One is Azure cognitive search. The second one is Azure blob storage. And then the third one is your local files that you can upload. Let's say you've got your own CSV. You can upload it. You've got your own PDF. You can upload it. Or if you've got files inside Azure cognitive search, you can upload it. Or typically a lot of organizations have data inside Azure blob storage that also you can upload it and use chat GPT to, or use chat GPT or GPT for whatever API that you want to use to ask questions from that. And the main advantage here is that it's not just that you can ask questions from it, but also you can build a chat interface that you can make it client facing. And this chat interface can also give you citations or references. Again, this has been one of the problems with um, deploying chat based solutions, especially in the support world for customer facing is because you never know when these solutions hallucinate or provide wrong information. So citations are really, really critical in this world and looks like Microsoft has taken it very seriously and then decided to give citations as part of the answer. And now not only that you can build a chatbot, but in just one click, you can get the chatbot as a web application and then probably offer it as a container within your, let's say contact form or within your own website where people can go ask question about your product. This is quite amazing and uh, this amazing thing is possible because what Microsoft is doing here is Microsoft is trying to ingest your own data and from that data that it ingested, it is trying to answer. What we do not know is whether there is any fine tuning happening, which I don't think is happening or if it is actually building like an embedding, which is also not very clearly openly mentioned anywhere here. But overall, Azure AI Studio has got the chat playground and deployment options where you can first go add your data source and, uh, you know, have a couple of parameters set. And once you have that, you would be able to ask questions from your data or also you can have conversations with your data, which can be ultimately deployed as a web application. But before you do all these things, if you want to use it, the first thing that you need is an approved Azure OpenAI service. So you have to go to this link, which I'll link it in the YouTube description, go to the link, apply for Azure OpenAI service. That, that like the first thing you need to get that approval. Once you have that approval, that means you can use OpenAI services within Azure. You can leverage chat GPT API, or you can leverage the GPT four models. And then you, all you have to do is connect your data sources and ask question and chat with your data. I would love to hear from you. What do you feel? And if you are part of a big corporation, whether this is something that your company would use it because from what I have spoken to a lot of people, a lot of people would be definitely interested in a solution like this, where you combine the excellent knowledge of chat GPT with the latest information that is available in the world, because you supply the data and also your own custom data. You are a financial organization. You don't have to depend on the knowledge that chat GPT has got. You can use, give your own data. But for every other hobbyist, 
we have been doing this already with llama index and lang chain so it doesn't make a lot of difference but this will have a lot of difference in the organization or enterprise world see you in another video happy prompting